you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hello. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. Schizophrenia affects 1% of the population worldwide. It's the seventh leading uh, cause of disability in the world as well, and it causes uh, more uh, socioeconomic um, costs than all cancers and all um, infectious diseases taken together. As you can see, it costs billions in healthcare provisions. Nevertheless, although a lot of effort has been put into cancers and other conditions, mental illness still remains the sort of poor um, little uh, brother. We really haven't advanced the understanding of schizophrenia over the last 100 years since the syndrome was first described by Emil Kreplin. We still can't diagnose disease other than by asking question of, do you think people are out to get you? Do you hear voices? which is not very specific or sensitive, as you may appreciate. We don't know what is causing the disease, and we don't know how the medications work that we're using for these disorders. Therefore, there's a great need to improve um, the field. Um, we, over the last 15 years in my lab, we have looked whether we can find changes that we saw in the brain and the cerebrospinal fluid, which is the liquid which fills the brain, also is reflecting the peripheral system in the serum, for example, which is an easily accessible body fluid. And this indeed was the case. We can see that about 40% or 50% of the changes in the brain are reflected in the peripheral system. Based on that, we identified proteins in the serum um, which lead and aid a diagnosis through a blood test. And this we have developed over the last um, years. We have partnered with Rules-Based Medicine, a US company, which is the major biotech company in the US who has a platform which is FDA approvable, which is a ELISA platform, a multiplexed ELISA platform, where you can measure up to hundreds of proteins in about 200 microliter, which otherwise you would need probably several hundred mils of blood, which no patient would be happy, and certainly not a psychiatric patient if you took that. <laughs> so. Um, so we have developed a 51 plex, so these are 51 proteins, and then an algorithm, a mathematical um, support vector machine learning algorithm, which is specific and identifies with about 85% sensitivity and specificity schizophrenia patients. Um, this is the beginning. However, what we also see in the blood, there are a lot of immunological and metabolic abnormalities, which has been known but never um, in depth explored, that um, there are almost certainly subtypes of schizophrenia as yet unknown. And this is why only 30% of patients respond to any given medication. We've worked with Roche now and on a new compound, and we can predict the 60% of patients likely to respond to this medication with 85% sensitivity again, or 90% almost, and we will hope to go into phase three. We also have initial results that we can predict drug response uh, to medication, predict side effects, in particular metabolic side effects.